One of the key elements for a successful partnership is really that shared sense of purpose. It comes down to what are we trying to achieve? And it always comes back to the community, the people and the vulnerable. Are we making as big an impact as possible on the most vulnerable in our community? Partnerships enable us to find new and different ways of helping people. We partner with Te Poa Waitanga Trust, who had a clever solution to support families with new babies. Kia ora, ko Alison Bourne Tokawingwa. I'm the Kaifaka Hairi here at Te Poa Waitanga Ki Otutahi Trust. Te Poa Waitanga runs a range of health and social services, and our services are largely delivered into people's homes. The concern that staff were bringing back to me was where there was three or four families in one home and then um, a new baby coming into the mix and there really wasn't enough space for um, the babies for bassinets or cots. We were concerned really around the safety of the babies. We thought quite a lot about what was there something we could do at Te Poitanga around that situation because of course we can't build houses so we decided to make and provide wahakura. We kind of looked around around how that could be supported because this wasn't going to be simple. We'd not made wahakura before. At that time Red Cross were very focused on supporting recovery work in, in Christchurch. We wanted to build into the project supporting people who wanted to develop their weaving skills and wanted to make wahakura themselves. My name is Daphne O'Connell. I whakapapa to Rua Hikihiki, Ngāti Moki from Taumutu Marae. I teach wahakura and, and it's not just people that weave, it's people that really don't weave. I'm teaching mothers um, that are expecting their first child and they come along and they make their wahakura for themselves and we try to get them back to make a wahakura for Te Pō Waitanga so we can spread them around. At each Wānanga we've had about 20 people and um, we've run five of them now, five or six of them, so about 100 people have come through the Wānanga and everyone leaves the Wānanga with a completed wahakura. And we've had a whole range of people, so we've had uh, hapu women, we've had hapu women with their partners, we've had women with young pipi, we've had grandparents and midwives. We're also really pleased that, that um, the arrangement between Red Cross and this funding has actually been, was actually coordinated through to Runanga o Naitahu, and so we're really pleased that they've been supporting this project as well. What it means to me is everything. The wahakura will be always here at Te Pō Waitanga. That's the only place where I will weave the wahakura because it's where I started and I'm a great believer of where I start, I will finish. <laughs>